welcome to uh, Windows uh, 11 video editor I'm Major Freak so I'm going to show you why it's the, the counterintuitive way that you're taking damage from 10 rats and it's pretty steep the DPS is pretty high but you've managed con to control it um, and have enough buffer so when they switch targets you'll be able to rep back up. Now you might think that oh why do you need 92 resistances and 84 then 89 and 79 I mean you're talking about 3% difference in EM resist and 6% difference in thermal it's not that bad you won't take a lot of hits it's 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 only a few percentage um, if you think that way you're thinking about it wrong um, and I'm sure I'm preaching to the choir and I'm sure any comments of the contrary are complete trolling um, but yeah um, if you're new to the game you might not and and you're like me I, I suck at math um, and it's it's difficult to explain to somebody because I don't no math very well. I, I just suck at it. But this is when uh, I'll play it from here. But this is the part of the video where I turn off my uh, reactive hardener and show uh, the maximum peak DPS you can get um, from these these cruisers. Now uh, they miss a lot, so you won't actually get a lot of the you won't get constant like that you'll see a peak dps is 400 uh, you're it's not always that it they do a lot of misses it's pretty funny your battleship and yeah I, I i don't know they're only 34 i yeah, you know tell me about it so anyways um it gets i think that's the maximum i get for minor freak on this i can get to 284 i believe I believe that's the number I got to. Yeah, 284. So that's the peak I'd get. So that's the maximum me looking at, right? And my resistances are pretty good. They are um, 92 and 85 with 30% uh, either way by using the resist. Uh, the reactive hardener, It it. I used to think it, it matched what the DPS is and just it, because if you read the description it it seems to say that it's going to match the resistances to whatever the dps is coming in but that's not true um it matches your resist holes for the dps type coming in that obviously a, a little bit more complex than what the description implies um so it's plugging my holes but since the omens do the same kind of resist attack that you that I have as armor resist that it kind of evens out and that's why it's 50 50 and it goes 30 percent into uh, EM 30 percent into thermal of course I've got so much in resists already it the stacking bone uh, penalties occur and I only get three percent extra for EM and six percent extra for thermal and I'm getting 284 peak incoming DPS when they hit properly now um when I made the recording, there were there was something else playing in the background. Um, some guy on Facebook, 365 days of uh, drumming. It was pretty cool. Listening to that, but I, uh, you know, rather respect privacy and not. Uh... Okay, so when did I turn it off? I think I yeah I was turning off here so the incoming fire um, will gradually get up to 400 um, just because the, it, it records the peak and sometimes you get some really good wrecking hits um, when they're connecting and therefore it'll go to 400 now it's blowing by 285 up to 325 um, it will go higher because of you know we just gotta wait a bit until it gets the the good hits in uh, mostly it's a lot of crappy shots and I held it at the other one for as long as possible I'll, I'll keep trying 
but it, it's difficult because it, when else are you going to get there are ten o there are ten omens and uh, nine omens and one ashman. Let's, uh, let's make sure. So that's 10 total, and I believe Ashimus and Omens do the same kind of damage profile and damage them out. Yeah, Wrecking, uh, Glancing, blah, 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 371. I'm sure that 400 was due to some lucky Wrecking hits at the same time. Um, but the difference between 285 and 400 is 40%. The difference between... Might as well bring up my calculator. While they're at it. Ah! Bloody hell. Give me a sec, sorry. Am I not. What the hell? You're not allowing me to. Weird. Now yeah, I'll just use my cell phone here. 374. So assuming uh, 400 was lucky, divided by 285, or hit, yeah. is it 285? I believe so. So it's between the 30% and 40% extra damage coming in um, from these same omens when you have just 6% and uh, 3%, um, they do more EM damage than thermal, and, but it's 30 to 40% extra damage, and you're like, what the hell? Um, it is because when you're taking, say, let's let's for, say for example, you're taking one damage, uh, or say, let's say, let's say you're taking five damage, or no, 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 wait, say you're taking 10 damage from all the omens on a consistent basis, that theoretically, right, on paper, so you just kind of totally ignore the numbers here and just go with that you're getting 10 damage when you've got 92% EM resist and 84% uh, thermal resist now when you remove say 6% from that and go down to 89% um, resist for uh, EM and then you go down to okay, anyways when you drop all these resistances and it doesn't seem like a lot. The abs, because they're cramped, the omens are so reduced in uh, damage, and they're only doing 10, say, hypothetically, say. And you take resistance away from it. But the thing is that they've only got a small window. Like, they've all, like, if they're 92%, you've only got an 8% window to do damage in. And if you give them 3x percent, that's like what? That's that's quite a bit. Like it's like what, almost. I don't know. I'm just yeah. They're between thirty and forty percent extra hole they they can shoot into, um, and damage you with. So it's not like oh it's only six percent. No, it's like they were at nine. They only had eight percent. You you now gave them three extra. That's almost fifty percent extra um, resist hole they've got now on you. Um, so the, of course they do do more damage. I'm not sure how to explain in the math terms, but yeah, it's like be aware that when you're trying to tank so much damage and you're depending on very high resists, if you're taking a significant amount of damage, you need to up your resists as much as humanly possible to get it into the 90 percentages. Um, because if you let them have a little bit more, that increases like. I don't know how to explain it, um, but I'm, I'm sure you're, you guys are better than math and uh, that I am. You can understand what the hell I'm talking about. I don't know the technical term for it, uh, the math technical term for it, but yeah, it's it's not what you think. It's not like, oh, I'm only losing a couple of percentage. No, you're giving them, per, uh, not percentage, but an absolute, uh, you're increasing their absolute damage way more than just oh just we're reducing our resistance just think about their damage incoming and that they get an eight percent window and you've just given them eleven percent so you think about that you're like oh that their damage is going to increase by x amount yeah it is 
instead of going, oh, it's only 6%. Now you just got to reverse that uh, mentality, look at it uh, from the enemy's point of view and go, ooh, okay, that's, and I did. I did take significantly more damage um, to my to my ship than just what the numbers would suggest. And yeah, anyways, so. Uh, God damn it! I really wish I knew the. Uh, anybody know the in the comments? Anybody know the the technical term for that in, in math that that I'm like looking at? It's not a minus. It's not going from ninety two percent to only three percent less to eighty nine. It's you're increasing the enemy's damage from eight percent to eleven percent, which in percentage relative. Uh, Harry, it's a hell of a lot more than oh just you know because you saw it's 30 to 40 percent more damage incoming so that'll kill you 